So last Saturday, I was supposed to rent a car and I had selected to rent, rent this car by, I forget what time it was. I, like it said, come, come afternoon, like afternoon, 12 o'clock and get the car. So I go up, I show up there, somebody dropped me off and I pull on the door and it's like, they close at noon. I'm like, why'd you tell me to come afternoon? And they're closed. So I'm like, shit. So then I found another car rental place and they closed at two o'clock. So I, <laughs> I went there, uh, you know, there was a bunch of things. There was a, there was a cop that got shot and they had like a four mile procession for him. So they had all these streets blocked and I couldn't get around them and to this thing very early. So it was like a quarter to two by the time I finally got to this other place. And I finally get to, to there's like 200 people in line. I finally get to the front of the line and they're like, um, do you only have debit card? I said, yeah, I don't use credit. And they're like, well, because you got a debit card, you have to have two pieces of mail. I said, what? I said, what is it, like 94? Like, he's like, what? I said, and nobody even uses mail anymore. Like, why Why do I need two pieces of mail? Who carries mail around with them? He's like, well, it's an instructions, instruction. Th this instruction thing was like 30,000 pages, I'm not reading through it. He's like, well, you could have called. I said, I did, nobody answered. So that's how that went. That was Saturday. And I'm like, you know, it's just not feeling right. So I didn't even bother on Sunday. And I'm like, maybe I'll take off on Monday. And I woke up Monday and I'm like, I just, I don't feel right about this whole thing. So I didn't end up going. In lieu of going on a trip, I bought a uh, three a three inch uh, bed that, to sleep on the floor. It's a Japanese style bed. Just got it yesterday. I'll probably do a review about it. Actually, it was the first night was pretty nice sleeping in it. Let's see how it goes. It's been an interesting week. I haven't made that many videos lately. I mean, and I had planned on driving down to Florida because I'm trying to find a place to live because I can't stand the winter. I, I, just, I can't do this anymore. I can't live in this, this winter lifestyle anymore. The original plans were to go with somebody to Costa Rica and kind of create something there. That kind of fell through. That person knew Costa Rica really well. And I'm like, I don't really, I don't know if I feel like figuring that out. I'm also planning on going to Japan probably later on this year. So we'll see what how all this plays out. And it's just been kind of a cluster this entire, entire week. Like I haven't known what to do with myself. I took off this week from the art job. Uh, I might just take off from the art job permanently. I'm tired of doing it. And it's just like, what is life? What is life? So I've kind of gone through that, um, who am I? <laughs> what am I doing here? Phase this entire week. It hasn't been entirely su successful, but I've gotten a lot, a lot of stuff done this week. I've also gone to the beach every day this week and gone and jumped on my trampoline. I brought my trampoline. It's a seller sizer. Hopefully I'll link it down below. <sighs> It's not possible, but if there's like, I, I just feel like if there's certain things that I could remove from my brain, I would. It's just so much going on. If you're an overthinker, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, like you just keep reliving this stuff, reliving this stuff. So, and instead of just sitting around and even video games have lost their luster, like I just really want that life a different completely different like i've sold so much stuff off i actually had planned on moving i probably still will i've just gotten rid of like a lot of stuff that i've owned and we'll see what happens we'll see what happens it's just if you have like a week like this congratulations you're in good company i guess i did get all the gardening done around the house that needed to be done and cleaned up from the fall and all the leaves and everything that was everywhere that needed to be cleaned up so i got all of that done diet wise i just been plain i've been just bananas mango bananas more mango, uh, watermelon occasionally. I did get a watermelon, it was like $9. It really didn't taste that good for $9. So I ended up juicing the, I would eat the red and then juice the rest just so I could <laughs> make up for the $9 that I spent on this thing. <sighs> it has been an adventure this last however many months. It really has, uh, this, yeah, yeah. It doesn't help that I somehow attract flaky people into my life. And I'm not really that flaky. Like I tell you, if I tell you I'm gonna do something, I will do it eventually. Uh, so it'll get done. I'm Irish, you know, we're strange, but like 
just yes i wow um diet's been going good at least uh but yeah it has just i was actually i had brought all this filming stuff i was gonna take like i was gonna do kind of like a fun video of my travels and and all that but it just i feel like there is a roadblock right now with certain things and it is just keeping me in one spot it really is it's almost for the people who are in my life watching this happen from an outside outside perspective they're like i just something is going on with you like it's crazy it's crazy to me it's just crazy i don't really have a whole lot to report i think i'm probably around i think tomorrow actually is two months of doing my modified rice diet there's things that have happened since I started this that have been so just irritating to me that I have kind of forgotten when I started, but I'm pretty sure it was about two months ago already that I started that somehow. Everything since the week of the eclipse has been strange. I don't know what kind of alternate universe that I have entered into since that week i'm sure that i've talked to a lot of other people who are also going through the same thing i swear there's something happened that week and i don't like any of it so far so we'll see where where it goes how it gets there because we can only live one day at a time tomorrow's not guaranteed to anybody but it is a roller coaster that i would rather get off rather get off at least I'm being grounded by my mattress is basically on the floor. I actually originally had planned on renting a car. I was just going to drive all the way down to Miami, spend like a day or so in Miami, drive to Miami airport and fly back was the original plan. But who knows, maybe it'll happen at some point in the future. And honestly, I mean, I think part of the reason was I don't like doing this stuff alone. I'm getting so sick of that shit. I can't stand it. Sometimes being a loner is pretty good. Sometimes it sucks everything and not in a good way. Anyway, I think that's it. And as far as this channel goes, you know, like I've been talking about diet most of the time, like the diet's been good at least. I didn't know what I was going to eat on the trip. So that was kind of a pain. I was going to bring my rice cooker and I brought a, a bunch of rice. This is pretty much going to literally do the rice diet, just rice. Uh, but obviously that didn't happen because, I mean, there was just a roadblock one after another. I mean, I, I really almost wish I had like a, a reality show so pe people could have seen that Saturday. It was last Saturday, almost a week ago. I was like, what is going on? Like, what is going on? Uh, <laughs> so, yes, yes, I think that's it. Anyways, I'm sure this one's not really shareable, but any comments, questions down below, leave them. Mm, yeah, strange. And that's it. Uh, talk to you in the next one. I don't know what the next video is going to be. I don't know what anything is anymore. Uh, my world has been kind of turned upside down, but I am still doing the seller sizer experiment and I am doing the rice diet and we're just going to keep doing that whole thing until I get to a comfortable weight. I don't know what that looks like. Probably in the 220s. I think that's where I'm, I'm happiest. And yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I've closed this video out like three times. I feel like people are looking for more information about the diet, but it's just, it's rice, fruit. That I haven't been doing too much sugar. Uh, just because I haven't been going on too many bike rides. Actually, I haven't even ridden. I can't even tell you the last time I rode bike. So anyways, that is what's going on with me. Uh, actually, you know what? Leave that in the comment section. What kind of videos do you want to see from me? Maybe that'll give me some idea on where to go from here because there's only so much of this rice diet. I know some people, certain, some people like to hear nonstop about the rice diet. I am not one of those people. So when I'm the one making the videos and I don't even want to hear it, um, you know, the videos kind of, kind of come out very boring. And so anyways, leave down in the comment section, what videos you want me to make. And I'll talk to you in the next one.